Hello, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to send invoice in your WooCommerce WordPress website. First of all guys, I will need you to go to your dashboard by going to wordpress.com slash WP admin. From there on guys, I will need you to sign in and this dashboard shall be opened. After that, I will need you to go to plugins, click on add new and then go to search plugins, click on WooCommerce, search for it and here it is. Now all you need to do is click on install now and then active. After that I will need you to go to install plugins to make sure that you have installed it successfully. You will find it over here. If that's the case that means that you are good and set it up. If not go to inactive and search for it over here if it is not activated. You just have to click and activate it. Now when you finish this step all you need to do is actually refresh the page and you will notice that there is some other stuff or other option has been added to your main menu. For example here, WooCommerce, Products, Payments, Analytics and Marketing. So, now how we can actually send an invoice when the customer ordered something from you or buy something from you. So it's pretty simple. All you need to do guys is go to WooCommerce, click on Extensions, or here Settings I mean, sorry guys, so Settings. And here you will find this menu. Go to emails. And here all you need to do is pretty simple. Here as you can see, new order. This recipient is you. So order and hold. Here you can see to customer, completed order. Here to customer. So here whenever you want to send something to the actual customer, you want to actually do it from here. So for example, if you want to sh send uh, an invoice, you can go, for example, through here. So once more, guys, all you need to do is, for example, here we want to send or an invoice. So all you need to do is click on, um, for example, let's say customer note or like processing order or completed order. Here we can go to manage and pretty simple. All you need to do is here put the message that you want to add and the invoice inside of it. Okay, then click on save changes and everything will be good so guys that was it for today's video if you enjoyed please leave a like and thank you guys a lot for watching